I'm not ready yet. Hello. Hi guys. Hi guys. I'm Miss Goodwin and I'm Miss Goodwin. I'm Goose and I'm a duck. And we have another story for you. Woo! Today our story is called Duck and Goose. It is written and illustrated by Tad Hills. Henley, do you remember what illustrated means? Yeah. What does it mean? Uh, writes the book. So close! They draw the pictures. Illustrator draws the pictures. Henley, why are we reading this story about a duck today? I guess it's because it's D time. Today we are doing the letter D. Henley and I are learning about the letter D today. So we are doing duck and goose. And Henley is playing the part of duck today. Can you please show them your beautiful hat? Ooh, yeah, looking good. Strike a pose. And I am playing the part of goose today with my beautiful goose hat, so. And we also have a prop. Are you ready? <laughs> right now, right now, right now, right now. <clears throat> oh my. What is that? Duck quacked. That's a silly question, said Goose. It is a big egg, of course. Of course it's an egg. I know that, huffed Duck. What I mean is, where did it come from? Goose looked skyward. He looked to the river. He looked to the fields. He thought very hard. Who are you? He asked finally. I, said Duck, puffing out his feathered chest, am the one whose egg this is. I saw it first. Goose quickly raised one webbed foot. It's mine. I touched it first. Hey, you should never put your dirty foot on an egg, Duck scolded. Don't you know anything about caring for eggs? Yes, I do. No, cried. you don't. Goose cried out. Stop yelling, Duck yelled. Don't you know that you and your screaming are very likely disturbing the baby bird who's trying to take a snooze inside this egg? Goose wished that Duck wasn't right. He lowered his head. I'm very soft, I'm very sorry. Go back to sleep in there. Look at I got. You can take my hat. <laughs> Took my goose hat. Let me turn it back on. Okay. Let me turn it on. I got it. Technical difficulties. Oh, thank you. <laughs> they did fit beautifully. My, that's quite a beauty you have, called a bluebird from across the river. Well, thank you. It's mine, Quack Duck. Actually, it's mine, honked Goose. Thank you. <laughs> so, asked Duck, what do we do now? You should do something, suggested Goose. Yes, you're right. Good thinking. Like what? Daddy! Duck and Goose each thought. Daddy! <laughs> Daddy! Well, we must keep the egg warm until the fuzzy little occupant is ready to come out, said Goose. Excellent idea, exclaimed Duck. He pushed past Goose. Step aside. I shall do just that. But Goose was too quick. After a flurry of fussing, grunting, and groaning, slipping and sliding, honking and quacking. Can you do your best quack? Quack, quack, quack. Honk, honk, honk. Quack, quack, quack. Honk. Duck and Goose found themselves back to back. Scoop over. I don't have any room, complained Duck. You're much closer to me than I am to you. Stop yelling in my ear, Goose. Shh. Gus hushed. Goose hushed, pointing at the round thing beneath them. Shh. Yes, 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 we must remember. Quiet, quiet, quiet. We mustn't disturb the little one. And so they sat very still and very quiet waiting. For a long time they waited. They listened to the crickets chirp and the frogs burp. I'm gonna teach this baby bird to quack like a duck. You quack like a duck? Quack. <laughs> well, I'm going to teach it to honk like a goose. Honk, honk. 
Well, I'm going to teach this baby bird to waddle, Goose added. Well, so am I, Duck said. They heard the pitter-patter of rain. I'm going to teach this baby bird to swim, Duck said. Me too, Goose said. To pass the time, they sniffed wildflowers in the warm sun and shared breadcrumbs, while Goose taught Duck to honk. They watched the sunset in the sky, and Duck taught Goose to quack. Oh, Henry, it kind of seems like they're starting to become friends. They've been fighting the whole story, and look at what they're doing now. Are they becoming friends? Aww. But they're still fighting over whose egg it is. Whose egg do you think it is? Do you think it's the duck's egg or the, or the goose's egg? The goose's egg. She thinks it's the goose's egg. It's my egg. Not your egg? Uh-uh. <laughs> they counted the stars in the night sky. Let's teach our baby to fly, said Goose. Good idea, said Duck. I'm sure our baby will be a fast learner, said Duck. If it takes after you and me, I'm sure you're right, agreed Goose. Together they waited until... <gasps> did you feel that? Yes, I did. Did you feel that, Goose? Mm-hmm. It's time, Goose. It's time. Duck squawk. What's going to happen, Henley? Uh, it can broke. It's going to break? Yeah. What's going to come out of it? Quickly, Duck slid down and started running in circles around the egg. What should we do now? What should we do now? What should we do now? I think we should remain calm, Goose yelled. Remain calm. Are you running around? Uh, excuse me, a little voice called out. Duck stopped. In all the exciting confusion, he had failed to notice the bluebird was kicking their egg. Can I play too? He asked. Play? Play? With the egg? Play? This is no time for play, yelled Duck. This is no time for games, yelled Goose. And what's with the kicking? Well, I was only trying to get your attention, said the little bird. Well, you got it, Duck huffed. False alarm, Goose, back to work. Can't you see that we're very busy here? This is serious business. This is perhaps the most important moment of our lives. Oh, my. I'm sorry, apologized the bluebird. I had no idea. I just thought that maybe I could play with your ball. It really is a nice one, she added, and then she flew away. Uh, did bluebird just call this a ball? Is this a ball or an egg? A ball. You think it's a ball? Yeah. But I thought it was an egg. What's a ball? Uh-oh. Goose gulped. Oh. Oh, well. Did she just say ball? He whispered to Duck. Ball. <laughs> ball. <laughs> you know, you know. I did have my doubts, Duck finally said. It is a bit squishier than most eggs I've seen. Yes, and I must say I was somewhat suspicious of those big dots. It may not be an egg, but it is lovely, said Duck. Oh, absolutely, Duck. Goose agreed. It's a keeper. As the crickets chirped, the frogs burped, and the grass swayed in a gentle breeze, Goose quacked and duck honked and the ball bounced, rolled, and sometimes even flew. Let's show them this page. They ended up playing with the ball. Oh my goodness. The end. The duck and the goose thought this was an egg the whole time. Did you like this story? No, why not? Because I don't like different fighting over the egg. You didn't like the part where they were fighting over the egg? Yeah. What was your favorite part of the story? I like when they're not fighting over the egg. That makes when they're not fighting over the egg. And then when they're not their turn, that makes me happy. Yay! It makes you happy when people are nice to each other, when they were loving each other. Good. That makes me happy too. Thank you for joining us, Goose and Duck, today for our story. <laughs> we miss you so much. <laughs> <laughs> and can you say bye, friends? Bye!
Strike a pose. <laughs> you taking a nap? Say, Ducky tired. <laughs>